What up, Blockheads? So today I'm going to be working on the Harley Davidson Lowrider S, Dyna Lowrider S, and uh, I'm going to be installing some cooling options, which are called Love Jugs. Alright, so joining me in the garage today doing this how to video, doing this install is B Rod. So, As you guys know, Harleys do get hot. I did a video a while back basically getting some uh, temperatures, some averages, as I ended up going over to Eric's house. And uh, it was super hot, kind of end of August. It's actually, what, like beginning of September right now. So it's still nice and toasty. It is about 8 o'clock right now, and it is almost 90 degrees. So it is, yeah, super humid, very warm. So as you guys know, Harleys get hot. I reached out to a company not too long ago by the name of Love Jugs. I uh, talked to the owner, Steve, super cool guy, and uh, was basically talking to him, telling him I was interested in his product and told him about the Blockhead community and the channel. What the hell are you doing over there? I was just opening your packet. Don't open my packet. I wanted to be the first one. Don't do it. I gotta <laughs> unbox that stuff and show him. <laughs> Stop opening stuff. Anyways, yeah, I reached out to Steve and um, obviously need a cooling option for the bike, so told him that I'd be interested in doing an install to help possibly raise awareness for the product, so here we are. So this episode is actually brought to you guys by Love Jugs. All right, so Love Jugs, owner's instructions, this is basically everything it comes with. They ended up sending me the Mighty Might model, which is one of their smaller profile ones. Uh, they send you the uh, Vibration Master as well, which basically mounts to where your, uh, I guess well, where most Harley horns go. I'm going to show you guys that. Uh, just unboxing this stuff. So that is basically what it looks like. Got your hardware, it's mounting option, and then uh, basically all it is is two cooling fans and they're going to set over the jugs. And when you're in uh, heavy traffic conditions, you basically toggle this little switch right here turns the fans on, blows air over your air-cooled engine, and basically air cools it while you're not moving. So it's great for uh, the style of riding that I do, which is here in the city. You know, a lot of stop and go traffic, uh, especially, you know, like whenever we had to bike nights and stuff like that on Thursdays. What you're planning on doing tomorrow. Yeah, there it is. It's gonna be mounted kind of like right there-ish, I think. So it'll basically blow air over the fins, help to keep it cool. It's a pretty, uh. I don't know, ingenious idea. That's pretty much what they do for like computer, the processors. So if you guys have a horn here stock, that's great. You're halfway there. Unfortunately, I do not. My horn is mounted right here. So for those of you that have a horn mounted here, you're gonna have to order a part from Harley. Now that part is this piece right here. Part number on that, I will drop in the description below. But basically what this is, this is a horn bracket, so since I don't have that bracket right here, so normally a bracket would come down and then a horn would mount to it. So this mount is going to replace the mount that's here right now, as you guys can see, that one right there. And it's gonna replace it with this one, which will extend downwards. And then we'll be able to mount that to there with this, All right? So first step, we have to take this mount off. So I'm going to have to uh, take the seat off to unbolt this part of the tank so that we can lift it up, so that we can take off the uh, little engine mount that's right there and transfer it all over to this mount. So let's go ahead and get started on that. You ready? I'm ready. All right. All right, so first things first, we're gonna take off the seat. I uh, un or loosened this screw right here, so take that out the rest of the way. Magnetic parts bowl. Take that seat off. So seats off, I'm gonna have to loosen this bolt right here. I also have to take off this cover right here. Now there's a little tab right under here. I'm gonna basically press that downwards, or inwards. So yeah, we took that out. Um, basically, the love jugs here. Two mounting options. You have the option to plug it into the accessory port which is going to be this part here, which I actually already have the FP3 plugged into, or you can mount it or wire it to the battery, which is over here. 
So to get to the battery side, you're going to want to come over here on the right. Uh, it might be a little different for you guys. I've got the Dyna Lowrider S. And so if you guys have a Dyna, it'll probably be similar. Other Harleys, you know, you're going to have the battery access in different spots. So you're going to have to take this little cover off right here. And you're going to have a screw down here. So I'm going to undo that. And that comes right off and boom, there you've got your battery terminals, negative, negative and positive. positive. All right, so plug and play application for this is a four pin. Uh, on the newer Harleys, they have six pin accessories, accessory ports, so. Okay, so what I'm gonna have to do is cut the wiring here. I'm going to have to connect the positive wiring to this wiring with the fuse in line, and then I'm going to hook this piece to it, right, to connect to the battery terminal. Then I'm gonna have to hook this piece to the black negative line here that will run to the battery terminal as well. All right, so at this point we are going to install this mount right here, and in order to do that we need to remove this one, so I'm going to loosen this part of the tank to raise it up a little bit to gain access to that. All right, so learn from my mistakes there. There's basically not the washer, and then the washer, and then the bolt. So as you take that part off, the washer falls off. And it went right down into there, and we found it way at the bottom of the bike. So uh, just, I, don't, I guess, be ready for that. So at this point, the tank is free to move up and down, so we're going to raise it up a little bit. Uh, we don't want to take it off just because it's a little bit more of a pain with the Dyna since we do have the uh, crossover tube right here. So I'm going to attempt to raise it up, and I'm going to use this uh, old lever case that I have to try and prop it up a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to take this line here uh, out of there. Alright, so those are barbed end pieces, so basically what I did was just squeeze them together and push them through. I'm going to get to loosening the the bolts that are in here. Concrustable! Mm. Alright, these bolts are in here a little tight, so basically just got a wrench, put it like that. You know, that old trick right there. So you got more leverage, and just push. Just in case you guys don't know that trick, gives you a ton more leverage. All right, so I can actually take this line off, get the hell out the way. So uh, I'm going to take this bolt out. That's for the engine mount so that I know I will have clearance and it will be free. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and remove these ones. All right, just remember how it reassembles. So you've got the bolt, the uh, washer, and then this little bushing in the center of the engine mount, and then you have the larger washer, that is a very thick washer right there, in between the mount. So now that that's free, I'm gonna go ahead and take these out, take this off. Got these loosened up, so I'm gonna go ahead and take these out. Uh, once again, pay attention to how they are in the uh, engine block. So basically you have the bolt, the large washer, and then the mount right here. So we're gonna reassemble in the same order. And this should just come right off, just like that. So that is the old one. This is the new one. All right, everything lines up. So at this point, we just uh, retighten back down. And it does have little spots in there for the uh, for spark plug wire also, for those little pieces. All right, so at this point, I've got these basically hand tightened down. I've got that one hand tightened, that one hand tightened, and the one for the mount hand tightened as well. Everything lines up, and it's still a little loose, uh, but you want to make sure everything lines up first before you tighten it all down. So now that everything lines up, I'm going to go ahead and tighten it all down. All right, so replacing the spark plug cable, placing that one back down on there. Uh, we're repushing these into the new bracket. So those are in there. I'm going to. Place this back on the coil. We're actually going to get to mounting the love jugs to the empty horn bracket right here. And we're going to be doing that with the Vibration Master. It shows you how to mount it all up right here. 
So let's uh, go ahead and start taking this out, unpackaging it, and looking at how it all goes together. If you guys do end up deciding to buy a set of love jugs, you guys can enter Blockhead in the checkout process as your referral, say the Blockhead sent you, and uh, they will donate to the channel, which is pretty awesome, so. All right, so that's like that, and we got So that's the back part, and then you've got... So we'll bolt that to there. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and tighten this down. This Vibration Master part is going to go over it there. Then we're going to take the bolts and the crush washers here, put them on the back side, tighten everything down. That process was if you guys have a horn and you need to mount a horn to it, uh, since my horn is right there, <laughs> I don't need to do that. So uh, you guys follow that process if you have a horn that you need to mount onto the side, that's what that horn bracket there is for. If you do not have a horn on the side, like me, like I said, you have the horn there in the front, what you need to do is you're going to mount the uh, actual fans to this part of the Vibration Master, and then you're going to take that, and that is going to mount onto there just like that. That puts it about level with the tops of the heads. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten all that stuff down, and uh, then we will start on the wiring. 10 o'clock at night, and it is like 85 degrees. Uh, it's a perfect time to install a cooling option for the Harley, right? <laughs> All right, there we go. Next up, the fun part, wiring. They do provide you with some zip ties and uh, the wire is actually pretty long. So here's what we're gonna do. Wire comes out of the bottom right there. Uh, I'm gonna wire it up. I'm gonna zip tie it to the spark plug wire right here so it's not touching the, the heads at all. After that, I'm going to run it to this wire right here, which comes back along here. And then um, from here, I will run it over to the battery side. All right, we have the wiring routed. Yeah, you definitely have a, enough, they provide you with enough wiring that you can reach the pretty much accessory plug or the battery, so definitely a good thing. I gotta cut the wiring here, basically take this little harness off and then set up the wiring to connect to the battery. Thanks for your help so far, bro. No problem. Appreciate it, man. All right, see y'all tomorrow. Should I do a transition snap? Oh shit, what's up? What up, Mark? <laughs> so we're coming back, finishing up installing the love jugs here. Mm -hmm. We're actually doing it right before a little ride up to East Cafe. We got Blackhead Crew in the garage. What it is. Duck here. Duck head. <laughs> so basically what we did here is we put the terminal end connector onto the fuse that they provide you with. Uh, and then we just duct taped it right here just to see if it would fit with the battery cover back on. Reese's idea. Good idea, sir. So it did fit. Uh, what we're going to do is basically get some double sided tape. I'm pretty sure I have some double sided tape. And we're going to mount it right there. Uh, we're going to splice in the positive into the positive on this, which goes to the love jugs. And then I'm going to run this line. We're going to put a terminal ring on that and then run it to the negative post on the battery. Just have some electric tape there so it doesn't. What did you call it? Crossword? Arc. Or Arc. Spark. Yeah. Yeah. Run negative to a terminal ring in this one and run positive to a positive right there. Since we're not going to reuse this plug, let's go ahead and just cut it as close to the base as possible so that we don't have to strip this wire here. Mm -hmm. Boom. All right, guys. So we took out the battery. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to run the wiring here, uh, which is from the love jugs 
And we're gonna run them through this little, uh, where the negative terminal goes. All right, so we're gonna pull them through there. That's gonna give us enough room. And then we're gonna put the battery back in. And we should be good to start wiring it up. Yeah, that'll give us plenty of room. So we got the uh, positive terminal wired up um, basically through the fuse. Just like that, we don't have it connected or anything like that. We are gonna double side tape that to the battery. So what this is, is it's gonna heat shrink the outsides and then in the center there is solder whenever you hit it with the heat gun. You guys ready? You wanna watch this? Yeah. Dude, I'm still gonna buy some of those. Magic. That's it. Bam! Easy. Freaking love those <laughs> All right. So we've got the wiring tucked here. Well, we've got it running through <coughs> right there. We have the positive connected up. We have the negative connected up. We did remove the fuse just in case. So we're going to put the fuse in. Now we should be good to turn the bike on and turn the love jugs on to make sure that they are good to go. You want to do the honors? All right. Up oh, to the <laughs> <laughs> All right, so switch right there. They work. Nice. Damn. Holy hell, they push a lot of air, dude. Ooh. Oh yeah, that should blow a lot of air. Wow. There you go. That's freaking sick, dude. That's awesome. Nice. Yeah, really oh look, good. how convenient. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what it, man. <laughs> yeah, you can feel the air on this side. Man, that's crazy. I didn't expect them to move that much air. Yeah, that's, that's pretty sick. Yeah. Impressive. Now it's time to test how much it drops the temperature. Yeah. Of lay of Jays. All right. Just got done installing the love jugs, which you guys can see right there. And uh, we're headed to grab a bite to eat, so it's a uh, great time to see what temperatures are. So uh, we just got started. Temperatures should be relatively low. Yeah, we're at 118 right now. So via that last video, you guys saw how hot it could get. I'm gonna go ahead and flip these on. You see him turning on. These things push a ton of air, man. So it is a uh, weekend here in Orlando, so, you know, traffic and all that, stop and go. As soon as this is updated, we're going to be able to monitor head temps, make sure it stays nice and cool because of the love jugs. Boop. Come on, man. Out of his car. <laughs> How do you kill switch somebody in a car? <laughs> Just run up, take his keys, and throw them. <laughs> Put a potato in the exhaust. These things push some air, man. And they do look really good, man. They match, you know, like the, the flat black. <laughs> Call that brat frog. <laughs> it's like leapfrog, but with braps. Now today it's in like the low to mid 90s, nice and sunny, working on getting that farmer stand. Yeah, this is what they're made for, right here. All right, well, we're going to do a lot more testing to these things. Basically, we're going to do a comparison of a bike running without love jugs on and a bike running with love jugs on. Should be a good video. But anyways, that's how to install them. I can definitely tell you guys right now, right off the bat, that uh, the bike is running cooler, which is awesome. Here are those things running, man. That's great. Flick them off. Let's check some oil temp. 229. That's it, man. They look good. Thank you guys for the help with the install. Much appreciated. Yeah, man, you know. So once again, yeah, this episode's brought to you guys by Love Jugs. Go check them out. Uh, here is their link right here. So in the checkout process, if you tell them that Blockhead sent you, or you basically write in Blockhead, they will help support the channel. So you guys be sure to tell them Blockhead sent you. 
tell you what, I'm gonna get some. I think you should too. <laughs> Dude, they look good. Oh, wow. Surprised. All right, well, thank you guys again uh, for watching. Special thanks to Love Jugs as well. And, uh, and Steve, we're gonna be doing a little comparison test. So these are the Mighty Mites, the smaller ones, and we're gonna be testing the larger ones that they have as well, which here's a picture of those right here. But yeah, lots of, uh, gonna be lo doing lots of testing. We're doing lots of riding here coming up. We're gonna be going to, down to Key West. We're gonna be going over to Daytona. So I'm gonna be putting these things through the paces, you know, putting them to good use. So anyways, uh, thanks to Love Jugs again. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you guys aren't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell icon while you're over there so it sends you notifications of uploads and all that good stuff. Until next time, you guys ride safe out there. Stay vigilant. And... Deuces! <laughs>